Okay, so here we are. So this will be the final uh, video in this session of laying out uh, creating the joints and orientation. Uh, this session we're going to create a free root system in here. And I'm also going to go ahead and go for scapula and clavicle bone to tie the arm in. Uh, because if we just tie the arm straight in and parent it to the spine, uh, you know, it's a very, it's an unnatural motion. The uh, shoulder, anytime the arm lifts above uh, the shoulder, what really happens is the clavicle lifts the whole shoulder joint. So I'm going to set up a little bit more of an advanced rig and uh, thereby uh, just give it a little bit more natural feel. And by setting up a free route, when I go into the side view here, uh, by setting up a free root system, we'll be able to, um, I'm going to shrink this joint size, we'll be able to uh, control the hips much more independently of the spine and everything. So uh, I'm going to go into my joint tool, and what I'm going to do is this is my root joint, I'm going to place way down here at the bottom um, of her uh, torso, and I'm going to hit enter. Just create a single joint just so we can save some confusion. So that's going to be my root. And my pelvic joint, I'm going to place in between pretty much the navel and the bottom of the spine. Somewhere in here, pretty close there. And I'm going to enter. And I'm going to leave the common tools open. I'm going to rename this joint uh, 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 pelvis joint. And this is my capital R-O-T joint that's going to control everything. Okay, so now what we want to do is orient these because we created these individually. We'll be in world coordinates, so bear with me, but this is the easiest way to orient these again. So what we're going to do is we're going to select um, the root joint and then the pelvis joint. And I'm going to parent these. Now what that does is it positions uh, this toward, or positions the pelvis down towards the parent and then I'm going to use our, our um, joint orient tool and with the aim axis X, up axis Y, world up is Y. I'm going to orient that. So, um, you know, we see when we see that the X will be pointing down towards the root, which is what we want. We want all the X's, uh, X to our axis to face down our root joint and the Y will be up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do this is a little bit similar to the group nodes, but I have a hockey up here. I'm going to unparent that. Oops. Unparent. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to go back through and um, uh, now that we're aligned, uh, I'm going to, uh, and that I've unparent this, I'm going to parent the uh, pelvis joint back to uh, the root joint. So um, I'm going to select the pelvis and then the root. Because uh, we want the, the pelvis to be a child of the root, obviously, and parent that. So now we have, go back into our mode. So now we have our pelvis joint as a child of the root. So um, I can also do, um, take the spine and shift select and parent that to our root. So our spine is, is parented down to our root joint, and then our pelvic bone is parented uh, to the root. So everything's running off the root right now, which is exactly what we want. It's going to give the hips a lot more freedom. So um, I'm going to mirror this over. Uh, I'm going to actually, I can connect this this one here and we'll uh, parent it to our pelvis, pelvis joint. And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and mirror this over and we're going to go to skeleton, mirror joints, option box, and we're going to make sure Behavior selected, uh, very important. And we're going to switch over the lefts for the rights, although we don't have any. Oh, yeah, we do. Sorry, the leg. And we'll go ahead and apply. And we're going to mirror that behavior over. So we'll have the same behaviors as we do uh, for the first leg as we do with the other leg. So, okay. And we're going to move up here. Um, now, and obviously, when we do this, um, what we want to look for is we make sure that when we move our legs, you know, they're both moving together. So, okay, so uh, we've got this all set up. I'm going to click on there. Um, and what I'll do is select a hierarchy really quick and uh, show all the axes so that we can see that uh, we have our root joint is at world coordinates. Okay, we haven't messed with those. 
Um, our other joints, um, the pelvis joint, is the X is following traveling down um, or up the chain all the way to the root. And same with the uh, pelvis or the, the spine here. The X chain is moving up. Okay. Let me, I'm going to uh, create the uh, scapula um, joints. And I'm just going to do this. In the pers well, I'll go into the front view. And what I'm going to do is you know, I'll select on that. I'm going to go into the joint tool, and I'm going to create our scapula here, which starts down here, um, comes up right about where the shoulder is. I'm going to try and stay off of there, I guess, uh, up there. And then back down towards the – this is going to be the, the start of the clavicle here. So uh, with that, I'm going to hit Enter, and – Oh, go back into perspective, and I'm going to need to position, oh yeah, this whole chain around a little, because our scapula is much further into the back. So, um, down this guy up, and then the clavicle bone back here, and that's looking pretty good. Um, by creating a scapula, it's really going to add a lot more control over our back. Um, uh, and adding the mesh, I'm going to lower this down just a little bit and move it in just a little bit. Okay, so with this done, I'm going to select the hierarchy, and then again in our Comet Orient um, Joints tool, make sure I have X as the aim, Y up, and I'm going to orient this set, and I'm going to double check, make sure I didn't get any rotation values on here, and down the chain, we're clean. So. Uh, again, this is going to be we're on the left side, left scapula A joint and I'm gonna copy that name. I'm gonna type Come on. Oh I'm going up the thing, sorry. Oops. Interesting in Maya, though, it'll, it will let you uh, double name things. So scapula A, scapula B, and this is going to be our left clavicle joint. Okay. All right. So with that set up, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the shoulder joint, and I'm going to shift select the clavicle joint, and that's I'm going to parent that in. And then with our scapula, I'm going to select the scapula bone, A, and I'm going to parent it in here. Oh, I think I'm going to go up here. We might have to move it up one here in the future, but, well, yeah, for right now, I'm just going to parent it in here. We can, we can always move that up pretty easily. So, okay, with that uh, parented in and selected, I'm going to go back into our mirror joints. And skeleton, mirror joint option because I want to make sure that behavior is selected. Because what I want to do, I want to, you know, again, mirror the behavior of this, not the orientation. I want the behavior to be mirrored across the YZ. And then I'm going to make sure all the search for L replace with R. I'm going to apply that. Okay, so with that selected, uh, with that done, now you're going to know that you got this right when. You shift select and you've got both sides, and either with the you know this uh, well let's let's select both arms. It's going to be a little bit easier uh, moving around the gap. Is not what we're going to do. Okay, so now you're going to know you got this right when you select both arms and you rotate, and they're going to rotate together. Okay, very natural. This is what we want. Um, both arms moving up. A uh, better way to look at this, actually, is we can select the hierarchy of these. And this is pretty cool. Uh, bringing these down. Uh, anyway, kind of hard to see. But um, they're functioning properly. They're moving together. And this was probably a bit easier. Uh, that's fun. So moving up and down. Yeah. Unnatural. Well, that one's more natural. Okay. So uh, we have the mirrored effect. Let me check my time here. Okay, good. Um, hold on one second. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So uh, 
yeah, we've got this guy functioning. We've mirrored him over. Uh, we've added a scapula. We added a clavicle bone. And we've got a free root system in here. And that's, uh, again, it's going to give much better uh, independent control of the spinal column and um, hip area. And uh, again, our free root is at world coordinates, which is what we want. Everything's oriented properly. Um, well, one other thing we can point out is um, close all these. Uh, let's, so if we rotate this, uh, you know, this arm down and negative Z, I'm still on rotation snap. Turn that off. Well, whatever. Yeah. And so we move this guy up, or and so we're at negative 29. Anyway, so we move this arm down. Okay, I'm gonna undo and go back. But uh, now, if we move this arm down, it should do the same thing. Negative value is down. Okay, so that me that is just a sure sign that we've mirrored these joints properly. I know this this throws you off when you're seeing and viewing the hierarchy, but uh, very important to uh, check these. So when you're moving this down, we're negative, and this one moving down is negative as well. So if we move this forward, y is negative. Move this forward, y is negative. Okay, so I'm gonna set back here, and uh, that should do it for this session. And um, oops, that should do it for this session. Uh, we're all lined out. Um, we'll, we will be getting into further detail with the head and coming up with facial controls and all that fun stuff here later. But uh, just trying to spin this guy around, give you a little bit more of a view. Um, you know, obviously, when you select that root joint, it should select everything. Um, make sure everything's named off over here with the R and E, and you know, you can go through and look at the values. But they didn't have any value, rotational values uh, going out. They're not going to have anything coming in. So we've got a nice, clean uh, joint system set up. Uh, legs, everything is looking good. And uh, yeah, that's uh, we're going to continue on to working on the arm. Uh, arm and the wrist with a pull vector constraint and um, we're going to do a lot of uh, setup on the hand and set up some custom IDK. We're going to use some SDK values as well. So I'll see you in the next session starting in the arm and hand.